Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the MESS method for the lighting protection system designing. This is the part 5 video in series of lightning protection system designing. In last part 4 video, I discuss about the risk assessment for the lighting protection system. I, I discuss about the different method involved in order to design the lightning protection system. I already covered the rolling sphere method for the lightning protection system. In this video, I will cover the MESS method for the designing of lightning protection system. In the upcoming video, I will discuss about the last method that is the protection angle method for the designing of lightning protection system. So let's start this video. As you remember, when we discuss about the rolling sphere method, we took an example for our worker accommodation, which having the dimension as followed, like length is 73.6 meter, width is 13.6 meter, and height is 16.3 meter. In the last part 2 or part 3 video, I discuss how to select the class for a particular project. Based on that, we came to know and we concluded that our project required LPS class 2. So, we will take same example, but we will change the method from rolling sphere method to mesh method in order to design the lightning protection system. And I discuss about the three different method involved in lighting protection system in part 2 or part 3 video. I already told you that for different class of protection, there is a different size of rolling sphere radius as well as different protection angle in, in case of protection angle method and there will be a different mesh size for the mesh method. So as per this mesh method as per IEC standard for class 1 protection required mesh size 5 meter by 5 meter. For class 2 protection required mesh size 10 meter by 10 meter. For class 3 protection required mesh size 15 by 15 meter and for class 4 the mesh size required is 20 meter by 20 meter. This table is given by IEC. Okay, as we know that our class of protection is class 2. So, based on class 2, the mesh size will be 10 meter by 10 meter. Along the length, as our length of the building is 73.6 meter. So, along the length, we have to divide by 10 because our mesh size is 10 meter by 10 meter. So, it came approximate 7.36. So, it means along the length, we need 8 conductors. In same way, we have to calculate along the width. As the width of our worker accommodation project is 13.6 meter, so we will divide it by 10 as the mesh size is 10 by 10 meter. So we came to know that it is 1.36. So approximate we have to use two conductor along the width. So total mesh conductor needed longitudinal run 8 lines each 13.6 meter and transverse run 2 lines each 73.6 meter. What does it mean? Let me explain you. This is our project which having a length 73.6 meter and width is 13.6 meter. So as we calculated the longitudinal run is 8 run. So it is 1 run, 2nd run, 3rd run, 4th run, 5th run, 6th run, 7th run and 8th run. Longitudinal run and each length is how much? The width of the building that is 13.6 meter about the transverse run it is one run and two run and the length of the conductor is the length of the building that is 73.6 meter so we calculated the mesh sizes now you see that there is one conductor here and one conductor here okay if we know the perimeter perimeter of the building then we can know the length of this conductor also so we have to calculate the perimeter of the building which is 2 into length into length plus width so it came as 174.4 meter so we have to run the conductor in the mesh method through the perimeter of the building which is equal to 174 meter approximate okay so we design the lightning protection system for our project based on the mesh method now we have to no, the down conductors. So let me explain first what is down conductor. Here you see there is one project. We calculated this mess, but this mess to be connected to the earth pit. This is possible through the down conductor. So these are all vertical runs, all are down conductors. So how many down conductors required for our project is a question. So we have to find that how many down conductors required for our project. What is the function of the down conductor? It is giving connection of the messes or the lightning arrester to the earthing. How? By running, by connecting the mess or the lightning arrester from top 
to the bottom and it will be connected to the earth pit. So if any lightning strike to this air terminal rod, it will go through the minimum resistance path directly grounded to earth through this down conductor. So we have to know the number of down conductor required for our project. So as per IEC standard for different class, we have different distance for the down conductor. Here it is missing the typical distance of down conductors for different class of lightning protection. For class 1, it is required 10 meter. For class 2, also 10 meter. Class 3, 15 meter. And class 4, it is 20 meter. So as we know, our selected class is class 2 for our worker accommodation project. So let us calculate the down conductor size. As per the IC standard, the down conductor spacing required is 10 meter for class 2 protection. And we calculated the perimeter of the building that is 177.2 meter. If there is a mathematical error, please ignore it. But I am focusing on the concept. Okay. So distribution, distribute them evenly along the perimeter. So as we calculated, the perimeter of the project is 177.2 meter and we need to have every 10 meter one down conductor. So divided by 10. So total 18 down conductors required for our project and it should be distributed evenly. Okay. So this is our project which having a length of 73.6 meter width is around 13.6 meter and height is around 16.3 meter. So this green color you see it is down conductor. Okay, down conductor 1, down conductor 2, down conductor 3, down conductor 4, down conductor 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have to divide it evenly. We know the number of down conductors and we have to divide it evenly throughout the project. Hope you are very clear with this point. I will highlight one important point here about the down conductor. As in the mess method, we calculated the down number of down conductors required for our project. But this will be same for the rolling sphere method as well as the protection angle method. It means the calculation of number of down conductor for our project is common for the rolling sphere method, for the protection angle method as well as for the mess method. Hope you are very clear. So if we are calculating, if we are designing the project with the rolling sphere method, we have to calculate the air terminals. Let me highlight it with another color. This is the air terminal 1, 2, 3, 4. Same here 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, total 10 air terminal we calculated as per rolling sphere method. Now, after this, we have to calculate the down conductor. We will use the same way, same procedure in order to calculate the down conductors. So, it will be 18 numbers and we have to distribute it evenly throughout the outer external wall of the project. And it will be also common for the protection angle method, which we will discuss in next topic. But the down conductor calculation will be same for all three methods. Hope you are very clear with this. After calculating the number of down conductor, we need to know how many earth pits is required. So how many down conductors we calculated, same number of earth pit we have to install in the project in order to connect each down conductor with the separate earth pit. So we calculated total 18 NOS down conductor is required for our project. So there will be total 18 different earth pit. So the cable will connect to the mesh conductor which is installed in the roof and this mesh will be connected to the down conductor and it will loop directly to the earth pit. I will show you another photo to better understand. This is our project. Okay. We calculated as per rolling sphere method the air terminals. Now we came to know that we need 18 NOS, 18 NOS down conductor. So we distributed it evenly throughout the perimeter of the project. So we have 18 down conductor. This is the air terminal. This is the down conductor. Okay. And this down conductor is connecting to its respective earth pit. So if any lightning strikes, it will catch by the lightning arrester or the air terminal then this high voltage electrical flash lightning strike will bypass through this down conductor to the earth pit and it will be grounded in the earth so this is the concept so hope you are very clear how to calculate the down conductor and how to calculate the how to design the lightning protection system based on the mesh method if you really like this video then please hit the thumbs up button Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for future videos update. Most important, share with your electrical friends and 
वी विल मीट इन एनी अदर वीडियो टिल देन टेक केयर कीप लर्निंग एंड बाय थैंक यू सो मच